Is there any place more vast with the opportunity of discovery than space? The infinite vacuum above our heads could have an equally infinite number of things to discover and learn. From the ways that black holes change our perception of the universe to the possibility of life, there is still so much we do not understand. As we chip away at the seemingly giant mountain of questions before us, we are learning more about the universe. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three new discoveries that scientists across the globe have recently made. Mysterious Cosmic Object Swallowed by Black Hole Black holes are confusing enough at the best of times. To see existence as we know it break down as matter interacts with the event horizon is a scary thing. But we are still continuing to find out more baffling things about black holes that can send shivers down even the most hardened scientist's spine. One of the more recent and perplexing pieces of info about these giant celestial holes comes from 2020, when a blip flashed on the equipment of the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. What the LIGO had detected had happened roughly 800 million light-years away from Earth. It was a black hole. Of course, this is nothing particularly spectacular, but what intrigued researchers was described by National Geographic as a wrinkle in space-time. The black hole had swallowed something, the researchers unsure of what, and the resulting convergence of energy sent wrinkles across space-time. These wrinkles were actually gravitational waves which spanned across the universe and eventually hit Earth on the 14th of August 2019. It was on that day in August that LIGO's sensitive detectors were able to record the event. It stands out among many thousands of other recorded events in space, and it has left scientists baffled at what exactly the black hole ate up. The collision, now named GW190814, involved two objects. A black hole with the same mass 23 times that of our Sun, and a mystery object which was around 2.6 times the mass of our Sun. We haven't seen with confidence anything like this before, said Vicky Caligera of Northwestern University in regards to GW190814. So what do we know about the object? Well, scientists state that it exists somewhere between a traditional celestial body with a surface, like a star, and a matter-sucking black hole. The mass of the mystery object, as stated by National Geographic, places it between the heaviest known neutron stars and the lightest black holes. Researchers are currently attempting to understand where exactly neutron stars end and black holes begin. It is perhaps in this relationship where our mystery object belongs. Understanding this extreme behavior in the universe can unravel an immense amount of knowledge. What's more is that as the universe ages, there may be nothing in existence other than these kinds of end-stage objects as most stars burn out. If it's a neutron star, it's an exciting mass for a neutron star. If it's a black hole, it's an exciting mass for a black hole, Caligera says. Either way, it perked up our antennas the moment we saw it. These two galaxies will crash into each other. Celestial collisions probably conjure up images of asteroids headed straight towards Earth, but these are some of the smallest things in space that can collide, especially when you consider that entire galaxies can collide with one another. Images of two faraway galaxies seemingly floating at a respectful distance might appear peaceful to us, but what we are seeing is actually the slow but eventual collision of two giant galaxies. Galaxies are groupings of stars, gases, dust and other celestial bodies pulled together by gravitational pull. It is believed that the supermassive black holes that are suspected to be at the heart of every galaxy plays a big role in their formation. These two particular galaxies, however, are entangled, so much so that there is a visible bridge of material between the two of them. As the gravitational effects of the galaxies begin to interrupt one another, the galaxies start to blend essentially colliding. In a statement about the galaxy collision, the European Space Agency said the following, Interaction with others is a common event 
in the history of most galaxies. For larger galaxies, like the Milky Way, the majority of these interactions involve significantly smaller so-called dwarf galaxies, but every few billion years, a more momentous event can occur. Even our very own galaxy, the Milky Way, is predicted to collide with our closest neighbor, Andromeda. Of course, this collision takes place over trillions of light-years of distance, meaning that the chance of objects hitting each other will be minimal. Still, the two galaxies will eventually merge into what some have dubbed Milkameda, and for anyone who might be around to watch the event, they will be treated to a kaleidoscope of stars in the night sky as the very constellations above Earth change forever. Jupiter's Mysterious Energy Crisis We are not the only planet in the solar system that has its share of energy crises, but a recent report shows that we might have discovered the reason for Jupiter's strange source of energy. For the last half a century, our gas giant neighbor Jupiter has an odd quirk about its temperature. However, new research may have an answer. To those not in the know, Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Strangely, Although it is much further away, more than five astronomical units from the Sun than most other planets, it is surprisingly warm. Because of this great distance, scientists would expect that the lack of sunlight would result in a very cold and frozen environment, somewhere around minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And yet, Jupiter's average temperature in its upper atmosphere is a boiling 800 degrees Fahrenheit. That nearly rivals Venus's roasting surface temperature. This odd energy quirk might have an answer, however. Scientists now believe that this so-called energy crisis is the result of intense auroras. These auroras are born from Jupiter's strong magnetic field, and they are ultimately affecting the planet's temperature. NASA's Juno spacecraft was partly responsible for this latest conclusion about Jupiter. Juno is currently orbiting Jupiter and is passing through the planet's radiation field in order to study it in the greatest detail in astronomical history. We have auroras on Earth as well, but they are not uncommon in the solar system. Any planet with a significant magnetic field shows aurora behavior. For example, Mars and Venus have their own versions of auroras, not just Jupiter and Earth. Auroras are created when particles with electrical charges become unable to leave the magnetic field of the planet. From there, they travel towards the planet's poles, hitting atoms and molecules within the atmosphere, which creates the famous light show as seen in the Northern Lights. The researchers who have come to this conclusion seem to have gotten lucky when it comes to understanding the biggest planet in our system. James O'Donoghue, who is a planetary space scientist at JAXA's Institute of Space and Astronautical Science, said, It was pure luck that we captured this potential heat-shedding event. If we'd observed Jupiter on a different night, when the solar wind pressure had not recently been high, we would have missed it. Unfortunately, like many discoveries, the scientists now have even more questions about the heating on Jupiter. Dr. Tom Stallard, a co-author of the paper, said, We also revealed a strange, localized region of heating well away from the aurora, a long bar of heating unlike anything we've seen before. Though we can't be sure what this feature is, I am convinced it's a rolling wave of heat flowing equatorward from the aurora. But what do you make of these space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.